For the past couple of years, dance has always been very integral and a big part of Austinite. This year for Austinite 2009, we brought in two of our choreographers from last year, Milton Macias and April Santos. Last year, there were a lot of enthusiastic people, but I feel that we've actually doubled in the amount of enthusiasm, doubled in the amount of talent. A lot of these guys are going to show you what they kind of have. I think that my dance is just really fun and just really different. I love slow jams. I do with a passion since I was like a little girl. So I know I had to incorporate like one slow song in there. Basic inspiration anytime I do a routine is like if I know people have talents in certain things, I want them to be able to express those talents. And those that are kind of shy about wanting to learn new stuff, if they definitely come and try half the routines we even do, they get the inspiration and the confidence to actually go out and try more. I do all different types of dances too, so I'm more of an expressive, kind of really fun, just trying to see how far my dancers can go and how far my body can go. Our competition piece will like highlight a lot of your fellow classmates and stuff that can do and do do break dancing as a fun sport in our, our in our on our campus. It's, it's one of those routines and styles that's just so nice to see and so visually like aesthetic. I think dance is just one of the most best ways to express yourself as a person. I'm definitely up to learning from what these guys have and vice versa. They want to learn from me. Hey, hey. So another component that's always been a major part of us tonight is, uh, is video. And for the past two years, we've always used video to um, tell a certain part of the stories that we can't show on the stage. If you watched the last two shows, you will notice that there's a significant difference between um, the videos um, in terms of the styles, in terms of like um, the techniques used, in terms of like the level of quality, the level of skill, the level of like thought that's put into those videos. Get ready now! For what? Oh, the neighbor's daughter, we have to meet her. They just moved in. She's so smart. She went to Harvard as a biotechnological pharmaceutical lawyer. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jessica. I, I'm, I'm Steven. It's, it's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. Mm. Yo, Jessica, let's go! Oh, I have to go. Okay. This year, because most of the story can actually be told on the stage, um, therefore it, it diminished the need for video as a storytelling medium. Therefore I decided to take it like a step further and try something different with uh, techniques that have never been seen before in any of the Arsenal performances. In order to produce this, this sequence, we actually had to shoot on a, a blue screen and we actually had to do a chroma key effect on it. A lot of these new tricks that I was trying turned out to be a lot more challenging than I expected. And, um, but it was a good learning experience and I guess it brings something new to the show. I guess this year's show deals with a little bit more complex and serious issues compared to last year. And so that hopefully not only will you sh see um, the problems that Asian Americans face, but be able to be able to say like, hey, that's kind of true, you know, that relates to me too, or I have had situations like that as well. People can relate to this. People can see that this is what we go through, this is what I go through, this is what a lot of the kids who are in the show go through. 
It's a process of growing, definitely. Hooray!